In this tutorial, I'll be talking about arrays. In one of our previous tutorials, I mentioned that data can be stored in variable. For example, you can have a variable city storing data, something like Ikeja. But if you store another data in the same variable, say for example, storing Kanu, this first data will be lost. Also, if you store the same in the same variable, if you store another data, maybe something like a query, this second data also will be lost. And the way to solve this problem is using different variables for each city. For example, we can write it as dollar city one equals to Ikeja dollar city two equals to Kanu and dollar city three equals to Oweri. But imagine we have a very long list. In this case, we need a better method to tidy up our data. And in cases like this, we use what is called an array, which is a special data type for storing list of data. It stores a list of data. An array is a special variable which can hold more than one value at a time. Basically, an array can hold a list of data. And a practical example of an array is mathematical sets. You will see that a mathematical set can hold a list of instruments. In PHP, an array is written as, assuming you have a list of cities, it can be represented as cities equals array, and the list of the cities will be put here. For example, we can represent our previous example as dollar cities equals array of the first one is Ikeja, the second one is Kanu, and the third one is Oweri. So this single variable is now holding list of data. In PHP, there are three different types of array. The first one is index array. The second one is associative array. And the third one is multidimensional array. In subsequent tutorials, I'll be discussing each array one after the other.